out here with the eye bobber today and I'm gonna catch some bruisers. Well, there's some fish rising on the surface in here. I know they're here. Here we are, we have the eye bobber and we're in a spot where we can't use the boat's transducer to get in there, we're blocked off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this eye bobber to map out the bottom and figure out what kind of depth we're working with. The eye bobber sonar is good up to 135 feet and it's got a fish mode as well as a raw mapping sonar feature. And it's all gonna show up straight on your smartphone. Fish under 15 inches get an orange tag and fish over 15 inches get a green tag. This is the only mobile sonar that can do that. So another great feature of the eye bobber is the waterbed mapping. This thing is gonna be able to be casted out 100 feet and map the entire bottom that's gonna come straight through to your smartphone. This is actually gonna show you the contour of the waterbed, all the nooks and crannies, and that's gonna let you know where those big fish are hiding. So I've used the eye bobber to map out how deep it is, and I've switched over to a weight. And that's allowed me to, got him on. There he is, oh nice one. Thanks to the eye bobber, I was able to figure out how deep to put my bait. This beautiful largemouth bass. Let's see if we can't get another one here. Got him, coming in. It's a good fish. It's a good fish. Oh yeah. Yes. Ten minutes with the eye bobber. There's our third fish, real sonar pliers. This is the real sonar scale, 1.6. is about what I was thinking. I got him on. Oh yeah, it's a nice one. Thanks to the eye bobber, this is too easy. Guys, this thing is loaded with a bunch of other great features. You got a trip log on here. It's gonna allow you to record the day's events and you can even drop pins with GPS locations so that you can remember those great fishing spots. You guys can also log things like temperature, fishing spots, anything you want. You can even upload that to social media and send it to your friends that are stuck at the office. The iBobber has a 10 hour battery life, so this thing is gonna be good for the entire day of fishing. The iBobber is gonna make any day of fishing way better. We all have sonars, or most of us do on our boats these days, but when you have a place that you need to get into that that sonar can't read, use the iBobber. You can use the iBobber from a kayak, from your dock, or from the shore. To sum it up, anybody that loves to fish and wants to find fish needs to have an eye bobber. Eye bobber. Cast, find, catch, repeat. You want it to fully charge, which usually takes about two hours. Step two, open the Silent Beacon app and press the plus sign located on the main menu. You will know it is connected when the beacon vibrates and blinks blue two times. Third step, press both buttons at the same time for about two seconds. It will continue to blink blue. Go to the Bluetooth area of your phone's general settings and click on the SB alert line. When prompted, enter the pin 0000. Make sure you allow it to sync to your contacts. Navigate back to the main menu. You can see it's now paired two out of two. To go into alert mode, press both buttons for about two seconds. It will also vibrate and flash red, letting you know it has started the alert. Now it is placing my emergency phone call and sending messages with my GPS location to all the GPS.
Hey everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing this floating magnetic globe. I really like this product. It uh, has this nice accent light, nice blue purplish tint. It's really cool. This goes perfect on your desk. It's a very good gift to give to somebody. My nephew came over and was absolutely mesmerized by this. In the box comes the charger that plugs in the stand. Uh, the globe, the stand itself with the nice accent light, and it also comes with this tool to help you get the magnet to stay so that it helps it float. That's the one thing that my nephew was absolutely mesmerized, like I said, about, is that it uses magnets so that it just floats in midair, and it uh, spins around a little bit. It's a really cool product. I really like having this on my desk. It really adds some nice color and accent to my desk. <laughs> 